welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. Alright guys, we're going to be talking about different defense types. We're going to talk about the Calcotherium turret, and we're going to talk about plant species, how you can armor them, the use for them, and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this episode, guys. So let's go ahead and start off with our little Calcotherium turret we've got going over here. As you guys can tell, I'm kind of in my little world that I do a lot of my defense and building tutorials, so you guys can see all the fun stuff we can do. So here we go. We have a Calcotherium right here. As you guys can see, this thing is on aggressive. It's ready to fire. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about what this thing does. So Calc Calcotheriums are great because they have a ranged attack. Um, we'll go ahead and jump on it and show you guys. They have a ranged attack where they chuck rocks at stuff, as you guys can see, and they got a swipe attack, and they're great. Um, you guys can considerably just sit here and throw this, and you can kill plant species really easy. Um, pretty much kill plant species almost immediately, which is fantastic. But because we're talking about Calcotherium turrets, um, no turret is complete without some source of ammo, and its source of ammo is food. So I have a trough right behind it. As long as it's in range of a trough, you don't have to worry about it. Um, so what we're going to do um, is it's on aggressive, but on top of it, what I've also done is I've encumbered this thing. I've put so much stone on it, it can't move. Um, so it's on aggressive. We also have Eagle. He's actually going to be helping us out. Um, so thank you, Eagle, for helping us out on this. So what he's going to do is he's going to fly by. When you fly um, with the Calcotherium turret, as long as you're flying, it won't actually hit you. It won't throw rocks at you or anything. As you guys can see, Eagle right here on his little pterodon. And it's like, I'm angry, and it pounces on the ground. But that's about all it does. So I guess you could call it a warning system for someone flying around. However, if you get really close to the Calcotherium, it's going to whack it real hard. It's going to give a nice little bam, and it's going to kick it in the face. Ooh, it hit it twice. Ooh, he got a little beat up on that one um so but however if you land and you have a land attack coming in on you guess what that calcotherium is going to do he's going to start chucking rocks around it right away boom oh he is just taking damage on that teardown guys um so as i said it can be really far away you can see this thing's just going to keep firing at it trying to hit it and it's pretty dead accurate uh, which is really nice because even when you're shooting it's a little hard to see so it's nice to have however this Calcotherium is only going to attack in a frontal cone at about 45 degrees, meaning if you are on this kind of this range, so if I'm from here to pretty much right here is as far as it's going to hit you. If you're behind it, as you guys can see, Eagle's behind it, he'll go stand directly behind that trough and everything. Um, it does no damage to him. It's just going to give him the dirty eye and be like, you must die. Step in front of me. I challenge you. Um, so basically that is, that's the Calcotherium, but as I said, Calcotheriums are really, 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 really good for killing plant species. So you can get rid of those plant species if you're raiding someone, and you're going to be trying to take out those plant species so they don't slow you down. So we're going to talk about how to do armored plant species to protect yourself from the Calcotherium. Oh, there he goes. He's, Eagle's going to keep playing with it. So now we're going to talk about the plant species. Plant species are a great asset to have. They're good early game defense that you can have that you can just throw down really quick, and everything's awesome. They take about 12 hours to fully mature. Um, I did spawn in some instant, uh, instant ones. They're not instant. They take about 30 seconds, but it's pretty dang quick. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to protect your auto turrets. Oh, oh, Calcotherium got the kill. Yay, Calcotherium! Um, and we're going to show you how to pick it, put it in armor and everything. So what we're going to do um, is I built this little structure over here, as you guys can see. We're going to do it in two different ways. I'm going to do a standalone and one attached to your base. So you're going to take this little structure. You see it. This is the inside of your building, technically, and this would be the outside. Um, you need to have the ceiling at least one off the ground so that you can do this technique. We're going to abuse the pillar trick. So as you guys can see, I'm going to place a pillar in here. The um, reason you need a pillar is you need a second level to place stuff down. As you can see here, when I jump back far enough, um, that pillar should have, maybe it did, of course, you stupid little pillar. Let's just confirm really quick. So, guys, you got to pay attention to this. Um, see, this pillar, it is not sticking through enough. 100% um, not sticking through enough. So what I need to do is I need to actually demolish it. I need it sticking through in that annoying way that everyone hates it when it sticks through. Um, hopefully, I can get this thing to work right off the bat. I luckily have some extra pillars lying around. Um, there you go, guys. You guys can see now it's sticking out. So you guys can see that's how it's supposed to look. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place down our little plant species. Plant species are the only thing that require a large crop plot. So if you're making large crop plots for all your other stuff, you don't need to do it. Berries and everything only need smalls. Uh, and then mediums are for your prime species, long grass, saver root. And... Uh, grass. What am I missing? Oh my goodness! Oh well, we'll figure it out later. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. It'll come to me in the middle of the episode. But that's all for the medium crop plots on there. Um, rock here. That's the other one. See? Told you. Randomly. So what we're going to do, guys, is we get this large crop plot out. I want to line it up um, so it fits perfectly on this ceiling out here. reason I want to do that is because I have to place railings around it to protect the side of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, line it up back here, and I'm going to step it out until it turns green. Boom! Like that. 
So then I'm going to place this little baby down. I'm going to actually shift it a little bit. Like you can see, it's right on the edge, all the edge of that ceiling showing. So what we're going to do now, and this is why you need this pillar right here, um, this is extremely important, is because now what we're going to do is we're going to place a hat frame technically attached to the pillar. Um, side note, do not remove the pillar. So if you guys are ever fighting something like this, you can try to take out the pillars and take it out really easy. Um, got this whole ceiling structure up here and your railings and everything. So what we're going to do is we place that down. Then we can take our little pillar, our little railings, and throw those babies back down. Um, and they're going to cover the side of our little plant species now. So what we can do is then we can place a trapdoor on here, open that trapdoor up, and look, at you can still empty it. But now here's the catch, guys. Water on these things, you need to leave them open sometimes. Um, reason you need to leave these things open is water. However, if you've got something called little canteens or water or um, water jars or anything of that nature, you can go ahead and throw them in there. Um, it takes two canteens to give you a full 600 water. Once you have 600 water on something, it'll fully keep your little plant species going. Um, just keep an eye on that water wall, you guys, to have them every once in a while. Um, but as you can see there, there was 600 water in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a couple fertilizer in here real quick. We'll place three or four. Four of them looks good. Um, and I'm going to put this plant species. I want to note, guys, I also said I spawned in one that's really quick, so you guys are going to see it grow through. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw that baby in there. You can see it in Instagram. Then you can close this thing and look at this thing. It's going to grow real fast. That's the seedling form. It doesn't really do anything. Um, so you guys know. Then there's going to be the next form right here. Um, this is the midling. Um, next one's going to be the, uh, the the fruitling, if I remember correctly. I can't remember. Um, there's the growthling, yeah, growthling, and then the fruitling's the last one. Growthling, it looks almost completely done. And then when that fruitling comes is when... So basically, guys, there it is. You can see it's fully grown. It moves around and stuff. You can put it to sleep. When it's not moving is when it's asleep. You can wake it up, um, but you can change the distance on it to high. I always like to leave them on high. Um, but as I said, for these, they're really good for slowing down. They're not good for late game defense. They're great for just slowing people down um, enough for your turrets to do a ton of damage to them. Um, however, they are not the best um, as straight defense. So we got Eagle. He's going to fly in just to show you guys how well this thing works. Um, as I said, we're going to jump down though. As you can see him, he's getting creamed by it. Um, he's going to get out of there real quick, hopefully. <laughs> um, hopefully he doesn't get killed by it. But as you guys can see, he took a ton of damage um, from that thing. Um, and it didn't kill him. Um, he took a lot of hits from it. And that's what I was saying. They're great for slowing stuff down and helping your turrets help kill it. Um, but it's not going to do it. But you guys can see this thing's fully armored now. The armor around it before you can kill the plant species. It's a great little tip and trick right there. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go do one more um, little plant species trick I want you guys to see. Um, and that's going to be doing the other. Uh, I'm going to bring my Rex over too. Um, and that's going to be placing it on a standalone. I just need to grab one little seedling right here and one little pillar. Um, as I said, guys, I got a couple extra things here. Um, <laughs> as I said, this is where I do a lot of my demos when I spawn stuff in. And things. Um, so we're going to take the Rex over there because you need to have something to be able to get on top of the pillar structure you're about to create. Um, and actually, you need two pillars. I apologize for this. Um, I would suggest doing it in in uh, thatch and stuff next to it, um, but I'm going to do it in metal because obviously I have the metal uh, available. So what you're going to do is you're going to place that pillar down and you're going to place a ceiling on top of it. This is just going to be the pillar to get on top of it. It's actually not going to be the pillar that I need to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Rex over. Um, you can do a ladder on here, but I'm going to be kind of jumping platform to make it. And then bam, we're on top of it. So what you need to do now, guys, you need to go ahead and place your second ceiling. Um, now remember, this structure should be out of thatch and a wood pillar because you're going to be tearing this structure. On. The second one's going to be the one. Um, so what you're going to do is then you're going to jump down here and once you've placed that ceiling, and we're going to do the same thing we did before. You're going to have it sticking out. This time you can actually see it a little bit. You can see it right there. And you're going to place it in. You want to make sure it's sticking out a little bit again. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tear down the second structure real quick because we no longer need it. Um, all we needed it for was that initial building. So then what we're going to do is we're going to reach up here um, and we're going to place down plant species real quick. Um, I like to place it. If you can line the racks up, you can actually do it without even having to get off of there. I probably should have left that structure on there. Um, that's probably the best option. But you can see you can jump into first person. Um, as long as you're good at this, as you guys can see, I'm pretty decent at getting And there it is. It's on there perfectly, just the way we wanted it. I'll run off the back of the little jump maneuver and bam we're right on top of it um same thing goes for placing all this stuff i really should have left that structure on there um so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to rebuild it. i'm an idiot for not doing it. i don't know why i didn't leave that out. 
time. I'm just so used to <laughs> having off the side of a building. I don't do many plant species by themselves. I'm attach it to this over to that ceiling real quick. Um, there we go. So this is just so I can place all this stuff down and I don't have to worry about it. So we're going to do the exact same procedure as we did before. I'm placing the hat frame down. I'm going to go ahead, place my little canteens that I have in here. I'm going to place my fertilizer in there. We'll get all that stuff up and running. Let's go ahead and spam those canteens. Get that thing full of water. Just confirm to see how this thing works. So I'm going to place one. We're going to place two. We're going to place three. Now, here's the catch, guys. You want to place these before you do it, because otherwise you're going to have to. Um, you can push it down, too. You want to do that before um, you place that last um, last railing, um, because what's going to end up happening is you're going to have to fly your bird up here or do a quetzal to get in and out of this. So you can see I planted my plant species. Close that little hatch frame, and then we're going to go ahead and place this last piece right here. And then basically, you would just tear up this little ceiling right here, and you're done. Um, but as soon as this thing grows, we're gonna have Eagle come by, just to show you guys again how effective this thing is. You can open the thing. If you get it turned the right way, you can actually access it. Inventory of the clear. You can just open and close this thing, give it water really easy. Um, this thing is now fully grown, so Eagle's gonna come flying over here. Um, and we'll show you guys again how well this thing works. Um, and there he is. He's hiding over there in the corner. You can see him. He's about to get drilled by this thing. And bam, look at that. Um, it's perfect. So we're going to put that thing to sleep. Um, so that's the armored crop plot, guys. As I said, you want to tear this thing down real quick, this little metal ceiling. And then that's just going to sit there by itself. It gives you an armor thing to protect your plant species so someone can't just come up and hit it with a calca theorem and call it a day. Um, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys can make your defenses a little bit better. I'll make you guys subscribe or like to the channel. Let me know if there's any more tutorials you want to see or anything of that nature. I hope you all have a great day.